Hey, what's going on, y'all? Knowledge coming at you again with another video. Um, <laughs> I'm getting ready to do a very controversial video, and you know th this this topic for y'all that you know enjoy rap or hip hop or whatever you want to call it. You know th this topic is very touchy, and the topic is what is real hip hop you know you got some of the old heads you know those of you that are in your 30s uh, 40s or even 50 you say to the you know especially excuse me for the new type of hip hop that's out right now rap whatever you want to call it you'll say that ain't hip hop that ain't, that ain't like rock him or run DMC and all you know you know you we get that you know <laughs> and um Basically, you know, me just being somebody who, you know, works in the music industry and I know the business side of it and just me being a, a diehard hip-hop fan. What is real hip-hop is not, you can't take one element of hip-hop and say, okay, that's real hip-hop. And I think a lot of times what we do as hip-hop fans is we say, okay, well, if it's not conscience or excuse me if it's not conscious or it's not super lyrical it's not real hip-hop and that's absolutely incorrect if we look at the earlier stages of hip-hop it was about partying the cats was talking about stuff that they didn't even own so you know when we talk about what is real hip-hop what the true definition is is real hip-hop is when an artist can make something original when an artist can put a, a unique flow on, on a certain track or just make a, a whole track just come together magically when you hear it it's a certain type of, of, of feeling you get just like for an example um, Outkast So Fresh and So Clean now you know that's one of my favorite records by them and you know just in hip hop in general now you know when you, when you listen to the lyrics, the lyrics, the lyrics were very clever. They weren't super intellectual. The beat was 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 fire. The hook was fire. But when you turn that on, it gives you a certain type of feeling. If you're going out on Friday night, or you know you just getting up going to church, and you throwing that outcast so fresh and so clean, it's gonna get you in a certain type of vibe. It's gonna make you feel a certain type of way. It's gonna make you feel like. You got the nicest suit on or nicest outfit on, even though you might have on a, a, a piece of shit, you know. And that's what real hip hop does. It gives you that that feeling. It gives you that that um that that feeling inside of you that you can't really explain. Like when you hear, you know, uh, Nas' Illmatic album, or you hear, you know, artists like uh you know Tupac or. or or Biggie, or even you know some people like you know Heavy D, those type of guys. The originality, the, the the lyrics, the concepts, the 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 intellectual thought, the uh, uh, creative process, the production, the the whole form of putting together a great album. That's what you would call real hip hop. You can't take just political rap or, or public enemy or, or say, okay, well, um, if you're not if you're not talking about Things that are going on within the government, or you're not talking like early Ice Cube, or you know, uh, uh, Chuck D, or those type of guys, or you're not super lyrical like a, a Nas, or a Tupac, or a Rock Kim, you're not doing real hip hop. Now, granted, a lot of stuff we hear nowadays is cool and buffoonery, a lot of it is not creative, a lot of it is definitely not original, and it's, it's pretty much bullshit. But a lot of these newer guys are doing what, what we consider real hip hop. It's just I think you know because we've come out of the era of the '90s when it was so diverse, which I think is a major problem. Which why people say there's no real hip hop out right, out right now because in the '90s we had so much diverse type of music. You had the Fugees, you had Nas, you had the gangster shit coming out of Death Row. You had Bad Boy doing anything, you know, with the whole partying and all that. And just if you go to early night, you had Public Enemy, KRS One, Rock Camp, uh, Heavy D. It was it was just hammer, you know. It was just so diverse. And I think that was the golden years of hip hop. It was like you know it, it was great because okay, if you didn't want to hear something political right now, you can go to uh, uh, Puffy. 
you know, if you don't want to hear the party, blah, blah, blah stuff, you can go to, you know, um, um, a Nas or a Rock Kim or, you know, if you, if you were just living that daily struggle and just somebody living in, you know, the, the, the hood or whatever, just living in a grimy environment, you can go to Biggie, you can go to Tupac or, you know, I can go on and on. Again, if you want to hear something political, you want to hear somebody speak about something conscious and, and, and something that was thought provoking, you can go to Chuck D. You can go to, uh, um, uh, what's some cast name? Right off the tip of my tongue. Um, damn. That group that made everyday people, they're right on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember their name right now. But, you know, it was just so diverse that I think people always relate. It doesn't matter how old hip-hop gets, they're going to always relate it to that golden years. But you can't forsake and just bash everything that's out right now because you do have artists out right now that are making real hip-hop. You got artists like, you know, Big Crit. You got J. Cole out there. Even, you know, um, you know some things that, you know, I would even say Lil Wayne. I'm not even really a big Lil Wayne fan, but some of the things he says is very, you know, clever with the whole metaphoric thing and everything. You know, so there is real hip-hop going on, I just think, you know, especially, you know, the die hard, hard hip-hop fans and, you know, the older crowd, they look at it like, okay, well, if it's not, you know, conscious or it's not speaking political, it's not considered real hip-hop. And, you know, that's basically what I wanted to say, you know, hip-hop cannot be constructed into this little box where it's only party music or it's only political music or it's only gangster music or it's only feel good music. You can't box hip hop up in this little small box because hip hop is grown. You know, hip hop is damn near considered a, you know, a, a pop culture now, which, you know, I like that because it's evolving and, you know, the, you get you get more money with that. But at the same time, I think by it being put into pop culture, a lot of the soul and a lot of creativity and a lot of the, different art forms that we put into hip-hop and creating hip-hop music is being taken out because it's being placed into pop culture. So now, you know, any and everybody can get on wax. As long as you got, you know, a high beat and a high hook, you can consider yourself a rapper. So, I mean, you know, that I just basically want to break that down, you know. There, there is something called real hip-hop, but it's not as boxed in as I think a lot of people like to say it is. But, uh, you know, for y'all that's hip-hop fans out there, let me know what's real hip-hop to you, you know. Let me know um, artists that, you know, have, have inspired you, you know, and, and might even change your life. You know, I know when I heard Tupac, you know, that that, that really made me want to start doing music. You know, I used, to, I used to do a little rapping. I still produce, you know. Um, I'm more or less on the business side now, but when I heard artists like, you know, Tupac and you know, early Ice Cube, you know, and uh, uh, even Diggable Plans, they won here Wonder Ass. You know, when I heard records like that and certain artists come out, you know, it just, it, it, it changes you. It does give you a deeper love for the music. But uh, y'all hit me up. Let me know artists that y'all like, somebody that changed your life, what you feel like real hip-hop is. You don't necessarily have to agree with me. I'm just... You know, I'm I'm putting my professional and my personal opinion out there. So, you know, let me know what, what, what you feel like real hip-hop is. Uh, I'm out, y'all. Peace.